what that was about. Let me check. I'm gonna turn on the AC. My hair has been like this for a couple of days. Like, I just been wearing it like this. Um, and I was wearing a headband around it. I don't know what he took up. No, I didn't. I was gonna put a headband on it, you know, just to push it back. But the way that it felt in my face, it looked cute. But now that I'm outside looking at myself right now, I'm like, oh, I should have just wore the headband. Like, the headband was the thing that, like, brought it to life. Like, you know, but I was deceived. But anyway, I. trying to figure out like what is the best route to take even though right now I just made a left turn <laughs> and I can't back out now um but yeah I'm headed to my baby brother's concert so I went into the car the car was parked and like the other people that were parked right next to me were so close I could not open the door for my Ikea to put them in. So, luckily, I saw, well, she saw me, a neighbor saw me and asked if I needed help because I was asking Rain to hold the key so that I could move the car up. But Rain was herself. She liked to ask questions. She was asking a lot of questions and I was getting like irritated because I'm like, damn, like, we're pushing it with time. Um, but I was quickly reminded, like, of myself, like, hey, this is my job. Like, <laughs> she was asking questions for clarity. So, the neighbor came and she held the keel for me. She still remained. Thank you so much. And, um, I went to the car the first time, left the key, and the keel show up. Second time, I go to the car, open the car. And the alarm is just beeping, beeping, beeping. So I go in the car and I'm like pressing the buttons trying to get the alarm to stop beeping. And um, push the key in the car for it to start. It will not start. If the, if the wheel is stiff enough, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm about to miss Kaden's concert. But you know what? I was faithful. I was persistent. And I was patient. I came out the car, I'm back in the car, the alarm started, I'm like, damn, so I went to get my phone out of a kill stroller, I saw my neighbor like, damn, the car is not starting, and at the same time a guy came, he wanted the spot, he's like, are you moving, he like, moving up, like, check positioning himself to get the spot, well, hubby, I'm like, the car is not starting, at the same time, I'm like, you know what, let me try again, I go, try again, I'm on the phone with him, he's like, trying to figure out why it's not starting like what is happening and um so he's like oh the wheels stiffen up like sometimes that happens same time I'm like you know i'm trying to get push the key in as i'm talking to him i'm like you know it's gonna work i said that in my head and it definitely did work it started so started I was just that was just my reminder that was like here you need to slow down and you need to be patient <laughs> and calm yourself because everything's gonna work out I just do not know how to pronounce <laughs> and it's so sad for me because I just don't know how to pronounce them turn 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 good job good job do you have to do nice yeah but I am on my way I am on my way um I don't know what it is, but lately 
I have been having this very, I feel like I've told you this before, but I've been having this very irrational fear of um, stopping on top of a hill or at any section of a hill, like going upwards. Oh my God. And I'm like on a hill right now. And I just feel myself slipping backwards. I need to spit this gum out because this gum is making my mouth so wet. Like saliva is just flying all about the place. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm almost there. I'm actually gonna edit this vlog on my phone because when I when I have been picking up my camera to edit the videos, that's the problem. Like that has been the problem editing the videos. I forgot to tell you that I I took the car out of the tight space. Um I had to change a kill because he pooped as soon as we left the house. I was in the elevator, I picked him up. And I smelled them. And I was like, oh my gosh, Akil, like why? I even pressed the button to go back upstairs, but I was like, you know, I'm not going back upstairs. I'll just change them in the car. And that's when the problem started. When I was like, I'll just change them in the car. <laughs> but it's a good thing. Like it, everything happens for a reason. And that reason a while ago was for me to learn some patience and to just keep pushing you know sarah i really really love my makeup and it was so simple like so simple if you saw the way that i did my makeup you'd have been like girl what are you doing but it just all came together for me and it doesn't feel heavy like i'm wearing a lot of makeup i hate feeling like I have makeup on my face it's just like breathable even though honestly the beauty blender just wipes 90% of the makeup off anyway all right I'm gonna park hold on so we're here and um thank you I'm just waiting to buy a ticket hi how are you um excuse me I have a question um where's the bathroom so Rain walked with her belly. <laughs> you can't use the bathroom on your own? Yeah, Which snack you want? Rain, you can. Alright, go. Rain, yeah. As I said, Rain walked with her belly. She's hungry. Um, I used to love getting the. I'm going to show you. When I used to come here, I used to love getting those plantain chips. Those were my. Uh, I survived college with those plantain chips. And the garden salsa friendships. Well, I don't know what kind of snack she ever want. We have to go. Aww, that was so sweet. So, the concert is over, and I'm walking back to the vehicle. To the vehicle. <laughs> and once the island food, Rain wants her McDonald's. I have a headache. I'm sure Akil have a headache too. Yeah. It was quite noisy. So I'm back. And here you go. I just want one of your fries. One of your fries and one of your um, shrimp. I just want one shrimp. One. Wow. Kid is so mean to me. I am home. The concert was nice. Kid said that. The concert is supposed to be my birthday present. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. I take the day off. My hands are clean. I just take a little of that and that just this literally does what coconut oil does. Except um it doesn't smell like coconut oil. <laughs> thousand times better but it just does the same thing and melts the makeup and I didn't really have a lot of makeup on um honestly here what I have I didn't have any foundation I just had on concealer and powders and I like 
that I just conceal what needs to conceal and let the rest of my skin just be and blend the powders in to create like a little look. All right, I'm gonna make this quick. I have to make this quick because I have a headache. Okay, so I've taken the day off with the balm. And now I'm gonna just wash my face. I feel like I should use the salicy salicy silk um, wash, but I can't go for it. <laughs> I can't. I just don't want to, <laughs> cause Akil's in the room making noise. If I go in the room, he's gonna um be making even more noise. So I use this right now, right? Everybody knows about this. You see how I wrote things last night? I have a story to tell you about this. Um, about a bunch of products that I went and bought because I was like going through it during postpartum and I was like oh my god like I'm 29 and my skin is horrible and I need to do something and you know go on YouTube and there's a video telling you exactly what you need for your skin so me to cut myself I buy every single thing that this person listed from A to Z asked me if I used A, B, or C much less Z <laughs> um, yeah. what I was saying is when it comes to skincare, literally, you just have to do what works for you. And I have learned that I cannot be taking advice from people who have always had clear skin when it comes to skincare products and what works for them. Because it most certainly never worked out for me. Um, so yeah, I just listen to my skin and I do... What well, works for me? Do I get breakouts sometimes? Yes, I do. Am I stressed out? Yes, I am. So, you know, there's a lot that goes into like skin health. I just listen to my skin. I know I do not have perfect skin, so maybe you don't want to take advice from me, but I'm getting my skin back to health. And I think I know what I'm talking about. Yay! I got these new products. This is the Bella's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. This pore. It feels really good on my skin. I like it so far. I'm gonna have my tea and go to bed. I feel so like. So I'll see.